animals, one of the core components in food, water, and shelter. Plus, they're yummy. This is Blood Cove here with another tutorial on the survival game No One Survive. Today we're going to cover animals. Let's take a look at the tools we're going to need, what the animals are going to give us, run over the different types of animals, and we'll even discuss the domestic animals versus the wild animals we will see. As far as the tools are concerned with the animals, you need a sharp item. You have stone dagger, iron dagger, which is your start comes in your starter if you use the starting pack, steel dagger, and an iron machete. I did try the two-handed sword. That does not work even though it's sharp. They all net the same. So it doesn't matter which grade you have, which one you have. The only difference is the durability. So as you can see in the domestic range of animals, we have our chickens, sheep, pigs. They each have a male and a female. You have chicken and rooster, ram and sheep, pig and boar. You need one of each in order to breed. When you use your breeding pin, you're going to put one male and one female as a baby or as an adult if you can find an adult. They will grow at 0.1 per day as a baby until they reach 1.0 on the animal status. Once the animal status reads 1.0, they're now an adult. They will grow 0.2 per day until they reach 4.0. Once their animal status is 4.0, it will now register as fertile next to the animal. And if you have just those two in the pen, no other animals, they'll reproduce. If you would like to keep reproducing the animals, take that baby out, put them into a fourth pen that is just a mix and let them grow. On the breeding pens, I have these ones running free, but normally I put a small half wall at the entrance to keep them contained within the pen. Yes, you got to jump over it, but it keeps the chicken eggs and the animal waste contained within the breeding pen so I don't have to go hunting. Another way is you can lay down foundations such as cement foundations and they'll be easier to spot. Let's get into feed and water. You have to feed your animals and water your animals just like any other animals. Make sure your food is up. If the food if they have run out of food or run out of water, they do not grow. They will stay at whatever per or whatever point they are at and that's that. So make sure you keep adding feed which you can refer to my agricultural guide on that and same with the water just keep make just make sure they have plenty of food and plenty of water now the byproducts you're going to get from the animals eggs from the chickens animal waste from the pig eggs are going to be used for consumption on the spot or in your cooking your animal waste you're going to take that and go to use it either in your cultivation box those are the only two byproducts created. The sheep does not have any byproducts that I have seen as of yet. Now, when you butcher them, the as you can see, the chickens are going to give you three meat each. The ram is going to give you seven meat, one skin. The pigs are going to give you ten meat four skins. Now the skins you're going to set aside and you're going to use those in your textile. Backpack, shoes, and don't try this at home, but you can shoot your own animals while they're out roaming around. Also, this is a good point, baby animals give you far less than adults would. When I was running my tests, I did try an adult that was 2.8 and 3.6, and it didn't seem to give me any extra meat. I didn't have any 4.0 and above the fertile animals to see if that gave me any more than what you saw. Now let's move on to the wild animals. You have rabbit, elk, boar, wolf, and bear. As you can see from the video footage given to me by my daughter, the rabbit itself will only give you three meat. No skin. They're very easy to take down, but they are fast. 
Next on our list is elk. Prior to the recording of this video, I had only seen the deer, elk, caribou, reindeer, whatever you want to call them, roaming solo. It's interesting that I go out hunting for it for the video and I see a pack of four. If you get too close, they will move out. But if you stay far enough back, they just stand there. They're very easy to attack and to take down. And as you can see, meat-wise, they're not that bad on collecting the meat. And they do give you a little bit of skin that you can take back and use in your textiles. Next on our wild animal is the boar. Again, my daughter decided to take it upon herself to go after the boar. Um, with the shotgun in hand, it only took her two good hits, point blank, and the boar was down. The boar is the equivalent of a pig. It gives you the same amount of meat and the same amount of skins as the pig. Following the, the boar in terms of danger is going to be your wolf or wolves in the fact that they roam in packs of three and four. Now, as you can see in this video, I saw the first one. Didn't see the second or third, but I was able to catch the fourth in time. Again, the wolf is the equivalent of the sheep when it comes to the amount of meat. Lastly on our list is the most dangerous wild animal, and that's the bear. The location I'm at now is a spot where I've seen only one bear at a time. Otherwise, they, I have seen them two and three deep which can get very dangerous. Also, with the shotgun, you can obviously see it is a dangerous situation to go after the bear itself. The bear does give you a little bit of meat and a lot of skin, but is it worth the shotgun rounds if you're running on, on limited resources and the meds it's going to take to heal? A lot of the wild animals that we've covered are not dangerous, but there's low payout value. Yes, the more dangerous the animal, the more payout you're going to get. But is it more cost efficient to raise the animal, let them grow themselves, harvest the byproducts of the meat and the skins off them, plus you get the animal waste and you get the eggs, etc., than it is to run out and attack all these animals. But at least now you know what it takes to take these animals down. That pretty much wraps up the information we have on the animals. There's not a whole lot. I try, wanted to keep this video short so I can get this out to you as fast as possible. If you like the content, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when my next video hits. Check out my other videos. I will be producing another video after this one. Thank you for watching. This is Blood Cove, and I'll catch you in the next video.